A man who lives on the Oklahoma-Kansas border is changing his entire community. He's making a difference with compassion, his talent in the culinary arts, and his pocketbook. The tables are set with fine china. The servers are prepared for the rush. But the dinner crowd at the door is a little different than what you might expect. We try to make it a little bit step above and make them feel special and that was my whole goal in this whole thing is to make the, our community feel special because they are. How are you? Noah Littleson serves a meal How once a week at a church in Independence, Kansas. Where they can come in and sit down, have napkins, flowers on the table and things like that and I think that's what Noah wanted to do for people that can't afford to go out and do it. Ladies? He's a master chef and heads up the food department at the local community college. How are you guys? He serves up gourmet meals to needy families who normally couldn't afford them. On this night, it's all-you-can-eat ribs. Close to 1,000 people flow through the door. The town's population is only about 8,000. Plates are getting a little messy. A herd of 60 volunteers wait on their every need. We come in and we sit down and... It feels wonderful to have a, you know, to have a meal served to you. Noah picks up donations from local churches, but the chef picks up the tab for a lot of it. And this isn't the end of the line for the kindness he serves up. I had to do this last week, remember? And it's the list of needs that we that you have. Well, I didn't receive any from y'all, you guys. On each table is a paper to fill out for each family with any need they may have. On this particular night. 149 people said they needed things like beds and heaters. Four days later, all their needs are delivered to their door. Well, this is fun. This is what I live for. This is absolutely what I live for, is giving back to the community. Then there's Noah's home, always open to those in need. In the bottom of my house, there's a basement, and we have a food pantry in there, and people can come by and get food when they need it. He also has beds set up in his home for those who need a place to sleep. I love them dearly, and I love doing this. 19,000 meals have been served since Noah started the weekly dinner a year ago. He thinks those numbers may continue to grow, but Noah says his doors are open and he's ready. I hope that I live to see the day that we have two or 3,000 people coming. So I think that would be great. Well, Noah also teaches classes to children at the Independence Library, so they'll know how to fix healthy snacks and lunches. And for more on Noah's programs, you can go to our website, kjrh.com.